may I assist you? Oh, no, I don't need anything. Just, uh... I want you to know I was very impressed with your work back on Neon. I'm beginning to wonder if there's anything you can't handle. I'd like to test that theory. My Star Yard's been having a little trouble getting our next project off the ground. I need someone capable and decisive to step in and steer it in the right direction. Interested? Love the enthusiasm. I knew there was a reason I picked you to help with this project. It's a new ship. We want to diversify our fleet. Now, I don't know why the people I pay very handsomely to come up with new designs can't seem to get out of the R&D phase. And frankly, I don't care. I just want someone, you, to go there and show them how it's done. I did not. Part of the problem is that my designers seem to be having trouble agreeing on a plan. I should mention that you're not there to make design decisions. You're there to get the project back on track and help guide them. So, ideally, you're not adding to the problem. Excellent. I'll send word ahead to the project lead, Jules de Gante, that you're taking point. They'll all be instructed to listen to you and follow your direction. I expect big things from you, so I'm excited to see what you manage to deliver. I don't believe you'll let me down. Everyone else will follow. Oh, this must be Walter's consultant friend. Please, come join us. We've been waiting for you. Hello. Hi there. You must be Walter's colleague. He informed me that you'd be taking charge of Project Kepler despite the fact that we have a fully dedicated R&D staff already assigned to it. But that's okay. I'm sure that even though you have virtually no experience with this, you'll do a great job. Oh, uh, I just assumed. You know what? I'm really sorry. I should trust Walter knew what he was doing. My bad. Even so, we have plenty of designers. As you probably know, we're tasked with coming up with Strout Eklund's next hit starship. But we have budget concerns, market research to finish, and we can't seem to agree on a design. So I guess Walter sent you to resolve these issues. Have at it. Ah, right, so you mentioned. Let's move on to solving our budget issues then, shall we? We were charged with building the newest, hottest ship on the market, which won't be possible unless we petition the board for more money. So we have two new budget proposals. One will allow us to build what I consider to be a very sensible ship, but we'll have to make some tough design cuts. The other will allow us much more flexibility to put whatever we want into the ship. It's what I call the kitchen sink proposal. I don't love it, but it'll be next to impossible to approve. What should we go with? I was afraid you'd say that. Look, I'm the one who has to go to the board with this proposal, so before I can convince them this is going to be worth it, you're going to need to convince me. Well, I'm all ears, because it's going to take a miracle to convince them. I hear you. I don't get it. You know, as 
50% of the Stroud Eklund name, that might be enough. Well, you're not exactly doing a great job of convincing me. Look, I know you're confident with this budget, but I know there's no way I can get it past the board, so if you want it, you're going to need to figure out how to get it done yourself. All right. I don't know how you're going to do it unless you somehow have the authority to approve the kitchen sink budget in the computer yourself, but whatever. Just don't keep us waiting too long, okay? This is going great. Just... Okay, but if you want to... All right, I... We have a state-of-the-art R&D department here. We're making progress now, I guess. Okay, but if you want to go with the larger budget proposal, then you need to find the money somehow. Wow, how'd you... You know what? I'm not even going to ask right now. Being friends with Mr. Stroud has its advantages, I guess. I'm just happy we can move on. Great, that's one problem solved. I'll go forward with that budget proposal and we can move on. Next, we need to gather some market data. The best way to do this is to outfit your ship with some sensors and take it through some real-world scenarios so we can make more informed design decisions. Great! Just pick up a mission or two at the mission board and proceed like you normally would. We'll collect the data when you return. If you take on a variety of missions, we can build a ship to handle a variety of scenarios. But if you just fly one mission, we can build a more focused ship. It's up to you. In the meantime, you might also want to talk with the team, get to know them, give feedback on their proposals, etc. Good luck out there. I'm actually kind of amazed we finalized the budget. That was relatively painless. Oh, yes, I actually do have a proposal. I wasn't really expecting you to give me feedback, but why not, I guess? I'd like to see us branch out a bit more in the Starfighter market. Bounty hunting and mercenary work are both big these days, especially among the hard-blooded free stars. Well, what do you expect? The Eklund family is loaded. Then you throw in Walter Stroud? Still to go from literally nothing to ships that give Tayo a run for its money. I'm glad you brought that up. No. And yes, there's a lot of work out there that requires a capable fighting ship. But the real success comes from UC military contracts which we would hope to attract by building a higher-end version of this ship platform for them. You could be right. There's got to be a better way to pitch the idea. I'll give it some more thought. Thanks. Lots of work to do, but we'll get through it, don't worry. So, you're Walter's friend. I know he chose you to head this project as some sort of favor. Honestly, as senior technical designer, I was hoping to receive that honor, but um, <laughs> uh, there's always next time. Regardless, I'm excited to help you out. Do you have any experience building spaceships? This is wonderful to hear. I hope for all of our sakes that you are not overselling your ability. Now. I know you've been asked to give feedback on our design proposals. Would you care for a brief synopsis of mine? Of course. But first, let me ask you this. What pilot demographic is currently being underserved by the current starship market? Uh, yes! Finally, a kindred spirit operating on my own wavelength. You see, while many ships will operate to that end, Few ships are designed with exploration as their primary goal. 
It is my belief that if we build a ship with that in mind, Strata Eklund will dominate that market sector. It's my hope that we can jumpstart a new era of affordable, accessible space exploration fueled by ordinary people like you and me. Thanks. Let me tell you, we would not regret going with my idea. This is a chance to do something that will truly inspire future generations. Bye. I'm wondering if we need another chef in the kitchen. Then again, I hear Walter brought you in to finally make a decision around here. Good. Just so long as you don't push us to make anything too nutty. I think your decisiveness will put us back on the right track. Speaking of which, I think my plan will get us where we need to be as quickly and efficiently as possible. It's simple, no frills, and most importantly, won't cause me any major headaches on the engineering side. <laughs> of course you do. Because you've been in my shoes and you know it's the only sensible way to go with a project like this. So I'm thinking... There's loads of fighters. No sense in mucking about with that again. And we've already got one of the best luxury liners in the biz. What I figure is, the cargo running business is booming, and no one's quite built a personal craft like that to serve the working class folk. Nothing fancy, no frills. Just a simple, sturdy, inexpensive ship with cargo room up the wazoo and make it so easy my cousin's little moppet could fly it. Wait, really? I was expecting we'd have to argue a bit more than that. <laughs> well, that's a relief. I hope you're being sincere. Because if I can convince them to go with mine, it'd save us all a lot of trouble in the end. Right. Take care. Um, hi. <laughs> Need something? Oh, you really want to hear my ideas? I mean, I have an idea, but it's not that great. I'm not even a designer or anything. So, I was thinking that we could really use a recreational craft in our fleet. But not like super luxurious like our Adonis pleasure yacht, something marketed more towards families. Something mom and dad could pack up and take the kids on vacation. <laughs> you probably think that's stupid, right? Oh, really? Wow, I am... <laughs> Thank you. I'm really glad I told you about it. Well, if we end up making it, I swear I'll work up a hell of an ad campaign for it. Uh, see you later. You know, I have designed spacecraft for over ten years. So, you must have really impressed Walter for him to give you this project. Or maybe it's a bit of nepotism. Never mind that. <laughs> Perhaps he sees in you what he sees in me. Ah, yes. At least you may be more open to my ideas than my colleagues. Maybe this is a blessing in disguise. Imagine a luxury craft designed for the most discerning of tastes. Every feature designed for comfort and peace of mind. High-end performance. Precision engineering, a spacecraft for those who wish to be seen. This will be the most elite personal craft on the market. I'm sure such ideas have been featured in the top trade publications. Perhaps in talentless smart asses monthly? Hmm. In fact, you've made me realize that your involvement makes it such that if this project fails, we can point to you as the problem. If anything, I should thank you. Hm. See you.
Welcome to the Free Star Collective. Please maintain your current course while we scan your ship. Scan complete. You're clear to land. Let me know if you have any problems. We... I'd like to believe that you can help my... So you managed to complete a couple different missions. This will give us lots of data to support building a ship that can tackle a variety of scenarios. Of course, if we build a ship like that, we may need the kitchen sink budget, but we'll see. Thanks for your help. Now, we just need to solve our interpersonal issues so we can agree on a design. Easy, right? <laughs> You seem awfully confident for someone who doesn't know how long we've been dealing with this. 
I've tried everything I can think of besides some sort of hokey team building exercise. So, what do you think you can do differently? Hmm. I can't believe I didn't think of that. It's fair. Everyone goes around the table and makes a cut. That way no one feels like they're the only one being asked to compromise. This should drive us towards a more focused design. And since Walter asked you to take the lead on this, I don't have to be the villain here. So you're sure about this? Great! Let's get ready to disappoint everyone equally! <sighs> well, here goes nothing. Okay, everyone. Our friend here, remember, not me, has decided in order to move forward, we're going to go around the table and everyone is going to give up one major aspect of your design. It's the fairest way to do this, and ultimately, I think it's going to make our collective design choices a lot easier. Who wants to start? <coughs> okay, fine. I'll go first. I'm willing to cut some of the included hot points. It'll mean less firepower, but the consumer can still add them afterwards, I suppose. You're looking at me, huh? I guess that means you want me to go. Oh, look, I'll be easy. You know I wasn't looking for anything fancy, but if I've got to make cuts, uh, we can reduce some of the cargo base. Uh, I guess we can cut some of the extra sensors and data collection equipment. As long as this thing can still make it to deep space and back with no problem, I'll be happy. Um... I'd be willing to give up some of the passenger space, maybe. Yeah, that should be okay. Frank? Mm, okay, fine, you win. I'll cut out some of the luxury designs and features. All that gold trim was going to be tacky anyway. Well then, that wasn't so bad. I feel much more confident we can actually build this thing. We're all super glad you're here, right? Based on the decisions you made, well, I'm not quite sure what kind of ship we're going to end up with, but it should be capable in a variety of situations. It sure will have a lot of... stuff to it. Now that we've addressed all our issues, we can move forward, finalize the design, and get this into production pretty quickly. If you could do us a favor and let Walter know that we're back on track, I'm sure he'll be thrilled. Thanks for your help. This is United Colony Space. Maintain current course while we scan for contraband. All right, we're done. You're cleared to land at New Atlantis. I'm expecting big things from you with this ship project. Don't let me down. At this point, I don't care what you have to do to get that project back on track. With good to hear, I figured as much. See, I just finished looking over the final design they sent over before you arrived. I've got to say, it's certainly interesting. They managed to cram just about everything they could into it. Honestly? I don't think it ever occurred to me to do something like that. I'll be honest with you. This is the most expensive ship we've ever made. But I'm confident we can set a price point to make it work. I'll be happy to make it my new personal ship. Additionally, I want you to have one of the first off the assembly line for all of your hard work. Feel free to pick it up at the star yard. Thanks again. 